Oh, it did fail you. I'm going to level the wings here. We're in the downwind. We just lost our engine. Step on the ball. Ball to the left. Left rudder. The ball is not centered. It's about halfway off. That's really the correct place for the ball. I check my heading and my altitude. Everything's fine. Procedure, mixtures, props, put up the, the other throttle, and the right engine is the one he's simulating dead. Verified boost pumps are on. The gear is up, and the flaps are up. Check my heading and my altitude, and don't go below the blue line there. Identify, my right foot is dead. I'll verify right, feather right. I'll guard the good. And I'll raise the dead engine, which is the right end, raise just a little bit to stop the side slip. Now, gonna get ready for the landing. The boost pumps are on. I'm gonna beam the numbers. I'm gonna put the gear down because at this point, I have the runway made. All I have to do is turn, which I will do. Check. I have the green light, and I have one in the mirror. Now, on this turn, I'm gonna simulate. Zero thrust by going to 12 inches under manifold pressure. It's a regular turn, regular speeds, regular altitudes. People mess up when they put the gear down too late or they carry too much speed on the approach. 70% of the accidents in the single engine landing happens at the far end of the runway because of excessive speed or no gear. Turning final here, verifying the gear down, going to reduce the throttle on the operating engine which then requires less rudder. I'm really not holding any rudders at this point. I have a trip to my feet, very little. Speed's good, actually speed's a little fast right now. I could elect to use flaps. No one, I just take out the power. Gears down, green light. And now we go, and now we go a little flap here. Wow. I was feel that one? <laughs> Chase. Okay, gears down, green light. I don't know how many times I check that. I probably just don't stop checking it. Ground out, hold it off. A little bit of a wind. There she is, two wheels. 